hello <laughs> it's always so awkward it's like I've already talked to you guys but now I'm like <laughs> reintroducing again <laughs> so welcome everyone today we are blessed to have Jamie here with us um to share some amazing tips on the low tox life oh here's Sarah <laughs> Um, so low tox is something that's been super important to me for the last couple of years that I've really gotten into. Um, and yeah, I just feel like it's really cool to, oh, oh good. Um, it's really cool to feel like empowered about knowing, you know, what's in your products, um, what you're eating, where it comes from and, you know, all those products that you use on your skin and everything like that. Um, so yeah, Jamie is a beautiful mama and obviously a low tox advocate and here to share some great info. So let's get into it. Um, firstly, welcome. Thanks for being here. Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> How are you going? Yeah, I'm going good. Going, going good. good. <laughs> So can you tell us a little bit more about you and, you know, just like a brief history, um, where you live, you know, your life, your family, all that kind of stuff? Yep. So I live in Western Australia. I live in the Pilbara, which is quite north in WA. So it's quite warm where I live. Um, don't be too jealous. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yes, so we have been living here for the last couple of years. We are from Geraldton, which is a bit further down south, um, but we love living up in the Pilbara at the moment. So I've got a a two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, and I'm 33 weeks pregnant with um, our next bub, which is a boy. So we've got a pigeon pair coming. So, yeah, that's exciting. Um, We love being outdoors. We love camping, fishing, boating um just adventuring basically is what we do in our free time um yeah that's basically it and then yeah um I've gotten into the low tox living and um yeah yeah cool so I know it's a bit awkward talking about yourself but it's um (laughs) it's awesome to yeah get outside your comfort zone and and talk about yourself um so how did you get into low tox and why is it so important to you Yeah. Okay. So um, low tox is really important to me, obviously having a um, daughter and another one on the way. um, Living as um, toxin free as we can is quite important to me. I want to bring them up in a household that is um, um, eco-friendly, environmental friendly. um, And just, I just want the best for your kids um, Mm. as most mamas do. So I'm trying my best to do that for them. And yeah. So that's why um, and how I got into it was my sister-in-law actually started following this lady on Instagram who was living the low-tox life and um, my sister-in-law was talking to me about it and I thought, wow, that sounds really nice. I um, would love to follow her and I had a look on her um, profile and she shared lots of information about products. She also, also shared some information about a documentary which is called Stink and um, that's on Netflix and it talks a lot about all of the chemicals in our products that we're using um, on our bodies and cleaning around our home and how tricky they can get away with the ingredients list. They can slide in there and just pop some nasty chemicals in your products without us knowing. Um, So it was nice to be educated on those sorts of things and that made me think about the bigger picture um and it basically was a flow on effect from there I started flipping the labels on the products in my home um started realizing I wasn't as happy as what I thought I was with the ingredients in the products once I started researching and went from there and I was quite early on in my pregnancy then about like five six weeks pregnant and I'd had a miscarriage before so When I started finding out about these chemicals, they could slip into the ingredients. It made me very cautious about what I was ingesting, you know, and um, putting on my skin and around my home Mm -hmm. when I am early in pregnancy to try and prevent a miscarriage if I could. (laughs) Yeah. It's always on on your mind when you've had one before. So um, it was quite important to me at that point to start 
swapping out some of my products. And then here we are. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, I think, yeah, I feel like that's a really good way to get into it as well as like, you know, you're early in your pregnancy and, you know, it's just probably more important to you than ever. Um, but yeah, awesome. So what pulled you to Young Living, um, you know, compared to some of the other companies that do like low tox products? Yeah. So this lady that I found on Instagram, she was a Young Living um, distributor. And so she was promoting Young Living, but I started doing some research um, online to see, what other companies there were. Um, and I just couldn't find anyone that didn't have the right ingredients for every product in the range that I agreed with. You know, some products were great, but not all of them. Um, and Young Living was the one that I fell towards because of their products were across the board. Everything was natural. Most of their products are plant-based. Um, not all of them, but um, yeah, all of them are natural. So mm. went to that um, extent of, yeah, researching all the ingredients, making sure I was doing the right thing. And obviously convenience was important to me as well. So getting all of the products from one company was so important, you know, as a busy mum, it's nice yeah. to just, I can order everything online from the one place, get one delivery a month and it's all there. And it's with a company that I trust. And I yeah. um, align with their values as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely easier getting everything from one place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. So yeah. can you tell us a little bit more about Young Living? Um, like uh, I have pretty much been introduced to them by you. And like, I think I've heard of them, but I just wasn't at that point where I was, you know, interested enough. Um, but since, you know, and then flipping through the catalogue and everything and reading about their history and, you know, their mission, um, yeah, it was really inspiring. So can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes. Yeah. So Young Living has um, products for your home, basically everything you need for your home. They have um, cleaning products, beauty products. Uh, your personal care products, everything that you basically need as an essential to live in your home. Um, laundry, laundry detergent, dishwashing detergent, um, everything. And then they've also got essential oils as well, which um, are amazing because they can help you in so, so many ways as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so what are the benefits of, um, you know, being a customer? of Young Living? Yep. So um, if you'd like to sign up for Young Living, there is an option. You can be a standard customer or you can be an Essential Rewards customer. Um, Essential Rewards customer is a customer that places monthly orders and it's a um, point system. So you need to spend 50 points a month, which is around $75 a month. But with that, you receive 24% discount on all the products. Um, versus if you were a standard customer and you receive okay. points back like flybys. So, um, for example, I saved all my points from since I've started and now I am um, built them up and I've just got a new order with my points basically for free. All I had to do was pay, pay for postage. So it's kind of like flybys, but so much better. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the, the points um, are just to buy more products? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So each um, product has a point value. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, once you accumulate some points, then you can um, purchase more products for free. Hmm. So I feel like, um, you know, a company like this is sort of like you can, it, you know, it's you can go to Coles and Woolworths and, and get the same stuff or not, sorry, not the same stuff, but you can get stuff there. And they do have like, you know, these days they have more, um, you know, eco-friendly or whatever products. Um, but I feel like with a, a company like this and especially you as a distributor, it's really cool that we can support a small business and an everyday family um, as well as get like personalized service and quality products. Like you're there to help us figure out what we need and 
what might be good for us, especially with the essential oils as well. Um, and yeah, like I've been messaging you heaps. I'm like, what do I need for this? And how do I make that? And <laughs> so it's like, it's so much different to going to Coles and Woolies, you know, like it's, um, it's kind of like, yeah, personalized, which I really like. So um, I guess, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about like your favorite products? Mm -hmm. like maybe you're, let's start with your favorite household products. Yeah, so household products I love. Um, we've got a household cleaner concentrate, which is what you can use as the base to many of your products. So you can use a tablespoon of it to make a spray bottle, and then that's what you use as like a spray and wipe substitute. Yep. You can also make, um, yeah, you can make many things with it, but another example is a cleaning paste. So it's bicarb and this um, cleaning concentrate. And that's what I clean my house with, the spray and the paste. I get into my bathroom with a brush and I scrub with the bicarb. And it's actually and amazing. It's really good. Really good. Yeah, I don't use anything other than those two things, plus a brush um, and a scourer, depending on how yeah. tricky um some things has it are. made that a difference to like your storage you know not having all these different <laughs> bottles and stuff yes it's so satisfying looking at my cleaning cupboard and there's like two things in there and <laughs> just walk around the house I used to walk around with a big bucket full of all different products for all different rooms of the house it's so refreshing just using simple ingredients yeah, yeah. cool so I guess did you like use the products first before you wanted to sell them? Uh, yes. So I used them for not long, maybe a few weeks, and I fell in love with them and was like, wow, these products are just amazing. That How can something so natural be so great and so great for yourself as well? Um, I fell in love with them and I was like, I need everyone I know to know about how amazing this is and um, just teach people because people are a bit um, unsure about this sort of things and yeah. um, just because your dishwashing detergent has a picture of the earth and says eco on it doesn't quite mean it's actually good for you so mm. it's nice to educate my loved ones about that and um, yeah 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 awesome spread, spread so love. how yeah how would you um, recommend someone begin this this journey and begin their low tox journey like you know, because some people might be thinking, oh, my God, like, they want me to throw out all this stuff I've just bought. And, like, so how – what's the transition like and how do you recommend someone start? Yeah, absolutely. So there's some awesome bundles you can begin with. Um, like the bundle that you got was great. It comes with um, all household products. So it came with um, your laundry detergent and dish soap, um, that household cleaner that I was talking about, and lots of other things, toothpaste, essential mm -hmm. oils. So that's a great bundle to start with. And I don't want people to go into their house and scoop everything up and chuck everything in the bin. I want it to be like a slow transition. I don't want it to be overwhelming. So that's what's great about that pack is you can keep the pack in the corner. Once you finish your dish soap, then you grab the natural young living one and then you swap it out. Then once you finish your spray and wipe, then you swap it out. Um, and then that bundle is great because that means you started swapping over your household like cleaning products as such. And then from there, it's great to jump on the Essential Rewards program to then start swapping out things like your body wash, soap, shampoo, conditioner, um, deodorant. And that's what I've done. And it's I've been doing it since June. Um, and this, yeah, probably last month was the month that we've finished, finally finished with all the other products and everything's done living now I've got my hubby on the natural deodorant which was a bit tricky because men are so um <laughs> yeah are so set in stone with what they like so it took me from June to October to get him on that but now that he's on that we're fully switched over so it is a a process and you can do it at the speed of your budget as well which is what we did because um yeah he's just a plumber I'm just a mum we're not um, rich so <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> mum's asking a question no we were just talking about natural deodorant yeah um so mm -hmm. I guess like how do you use it as well and like what's the difference you notice you know for the lasting effect or 
yeah is it good like that yeah so your body actually has to naturally detox from the deodorant that you've been using so the first couple weeks or even for um riley i think it was two to three weeks for him to detox so that is your body getting out all of the chemicals basically that you've been putting on it for many 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 years um it's detoxing itself so you do find you are a bit smelly for the first couple weeks but that's a good sign it means that the deodorant's working and you're flushing everything out and then after that process it's amazing it's incredible so I apply it once a day and Riley applies it once a day and like I said he's a plumber he works a 12-hour shift and he um obviously comes home sweaty (laughs) But um, not as smelly as what he used to do, um, Mm -hmm. which is really good. And he's the type of guy that is quite conscious of smelling as well. So he hated that detox stage. But I said, hang in there, hang in there. It's (laughs) going to be so worth it. So um, it's a roll-on deodorant. Um, Okay. So it took a while for him to get used to the roll-on effect as well. Yeah. Roll-on. Yeah. So it's a um, roll-on stick, like one of the ones that you screw from the bottom and it lifts up. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So what's in like a normal deodorant from, you know, Coles or whatever that is bad for us? Like what's the main thing? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Um, fragrance is one of the nasty things. Um, that is a word that they can put on any label and not disclose any ingredients. So under the word fragrance, there can be, 500 ingredients that they don't actually have to write on the label what mm. it is, what it is so that's a nasty wow. one yeah and the um the spray ones have nasty things in them too um to produce it you know the aerosol and everything the aluminium yeah yeah I guess that's kind of like um the spray oils and stuff as well like you know spray oil is a huge thing that I learned to to get rid of um, early on as well and is also no good for your pans and things like that um cool okay so let's can we go on to essential oils because they probably make me the most excited because cleaning is like you know I hate cleaning but um <laughs> essential oils are fun and you know very beneficial so yeah um what are they and how like how are they kind of made and all that kind of stuff yeah, cool. So um, I've got some notes on this because I don't want to say anything wrong. <laughs> but <laughs> essential oils are derived from plants. Um, they're extracted from the petals, um, citrus peels, grasses, tree bark and the resin um, from all of the plants. And there's a few processes that they can do to get the oil from the plants. Um, the two that Young Living do are um, steam distillation and cold pressing. Um, so I've got the steps here. I can um, talk about them. So with the steam distillation, um, the harvested plant matter in a distilling apparatus suspends over the boiling water and then the steam pulls oil from the plant. As the steam mm-hmm. rises into a vessel, it's pushed through a tube and then the steam cools and condenses back into the water and then the oil separates from the water. And that's where oh. the oil comes from. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And then and the cold press? Cold pressing is um, mostly for the citrus ones. Oh, yeah. Um, which the fruit's washed. Um, the fruit is placed in a container where it's agitated by spikes and it gets like grated um, mm-hmm. or other methods to bring the oil to the surface. Um, water is sprayed over the over the fruit and mixed with the essential oil released I uh, yeah sorry water is sprayed over the fruit and mixed with the essential oil released from the punctured botanical material and then mm-hmm. the essential oil is collected and separated from the oil yeah so it's really it's just like water and oil like water yeah cool yeah so why do you think um there is such an emphasis on them at the moment and like you know using them and um they just seem to have like popped re- recently, you know, like everyone's talking about essential oils and everyone's mm. got a diffuser and 
or maybe I'm just noticing that because I'm getting into it, but it seems like there's a big emphasis on them. There is, yeah. I think um, everyone um, at the moment is really striving for a healthier lifestyle and finding lots of people with results from the essential oils because they are plant-based is um, really great. And we all know of people who um, are suffering from some sort of illness so I think lots of people are striving to um, protect their wellness as well, I guess. Um, and find and support, more natural, you know, things yeah. to help. Yeah. Yeah, support our bodies naturally. I think mm. most people are going for these days and that's why they've become quite popular. Mm. And I feel like for me, like when I watch, um, you know, movies set in, the, set in the, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and you know, yeah, they use all these different um, like oils or plants or whatever to get the desired effect. You know, in medical situations, and I'm like, yeah, I guess we have just come so far medically, but almost too far now that we're like, don't even think about what we used to use and how good it it was. Um, so, how have they helped you? So you know, before using them and then now after, what's sort of the difference there? Yeah, definitely um, with my stress and my anxiety. It's helped me so much with my anxiety. Um, so I'm quite a, a stressful, stress head type person. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm like that and, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, since I've been using white oils and especially one oil which I've got up beside me, it's called Bella. Um, I've been putting this behind my ears every day consistently, multiple times a day. Um, and I haven't had anxiety. I can't even remember when I had my last like anxiety attack, but it was, would be a few weeks ago, if not a month ago. And that's, I put it down to this oil because this is an oil that I've been putting on behind my ears um mm -hmm. for, so did you used yeah. to have sorry sorry <laughs> did you used to have the the anxiety sorry sorry you just cut off try again <laughs> oh, oh I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Is that better? no Oh, I can hear you like very quietly in the background. Hang on a minute, I'll just go. Oh, yeah, you, you're like breaking in. No. What about that? Oh, that's better. Okay. I just took my ear pods out. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So what was I saying? <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So you, were you having the anxiety attacks more regularly, you know, than you are now? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So I haven't actually felt anxious or anxiety in a couple of weeks, in a few weeks. So I would feel anxious at some point regularly through the day, every day, um, whether it was at work or going to the shopping centre was one for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and now I haven't had that. I can go to the shops and not have anxiety, which is amazing. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. So what, else, like, what are your other favourites other than um, Bella? Mm-hmm. Um, so I have lavender is amazing for sleep. Um, so that's always on my diffuser at night time and I feel like it helps get a restful sleep. Okay. We also put um, an oil on my daughter, which is a sleepy blend with lavender in it. And that helps her 
sleep um, in her day nap for longer, longer periods of time. Um, and that is incredible. You know, that obviously just shows that it's not a, um, you know, like she's not thinking it's working because she's too. It's mm. actually working because she's sleeping for much longer than what she would if I didn't put the roller on her foot. So, um, yeah, that's amazing. She's always been a really good sleeper at night time, but her day naps were always um, a bit wishy-washy. And then since putting the oil on her feet um, before her nap, they've been that's been helping. So that's my favourite oil as well because we need... There, yes, there is. To help with tantrums with kids. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. There's a, um, a roller I've made for my daughter um, with some essential oils in it. So it's got frankincense and a blend called White Angelica. And they're really good emotional support oils. So I've made one for my daughter and I put that on her. I try and put it on daily, but sometimes it doesn't happen. Um, and then when she's in a, in a tantrum, I try and just whack it on her wherever I can. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like it really helps okay. with the tantrums. Yeah. So how, like, do you um, dilute it or like, is it in a roller with some oil and then you put it on her feet that like the lavender? Yes. So it's in a little roller like this. I don't know how well my camera's working. This is an empty bottle. Um, so yeah, you dilute it to their age. So there's a specific um, amount they're allowed per like age gut. Okay. Put it in um, as per her age. And then I top it with coconut oil. So you need fractionated coconut oil. Um, and that's what I use. So you can actually buy them from Young Living pre-made. So if you're not um, into making your products or your essential oil rollers yourself, you can actually buy them pre-made um for them cool well on that can we get into a bit more of the homemade um products yeah um, so yep. yeah I guess like I feel for me I was not really interested in it to begin with I was like oh I couldn't be bothered doing that blah 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 but now I feel like it's really cool to know exactly what's in the products and see them work and you're like oh my god I made this washing powder and it works <laughs> and then yeah. um also the cost you know like I feel like it's going to be more cost effective um yeah in the long run to make the products yourself so what yeah what products do you make yourself mainly yeah absolutely so I make my laundry powder myself um which is made from three products plus essential oils. So all these three products you can get from Coles or Woolies, bicarb, Epsom salts, and um, washing soda. <laughs> Sorry, baby brain. <laughs> um, and then I add my essential oils into it, which help um, you can get essential oils, which are great, which have great cleaning properties. And also for the scent as well that it leaves yeah. on the clothes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that is really amazing to make. Um, I make that and I also make um, hand soap myself. Um, I was at the start making our body wash um, and then now I can't be bothered making my body wash, so I buy it. <laughs> but it is possible. I make um, my daughter, Sidey, I make her body wash Um I'm also put more effort into making hers than ours because I like knowing exactly what's going into hers and I can change up the ingredients as to whatever it likes. She gets heat rash quite a lot, um, especially up here. It's very, very hot. So I like putting um, extra oils in there to support her skin and keep them feeling, keep it nourished. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I make that. Um, I make baby wipes for oh, her. Wow. Yeah. What so about a bath salt slash soak? Yes, you can. You can make that. I personally haven't done that. I'm not a big bath person, but you can. <laughs> I can find a recipe for you and provide that for you. Um, where, yeah, it looks really easy. Where do you get all of your recipes? And like, like before you said about, um, you know, the different um, amounts for like different age groups and stuff like that. Is that, where do you get all that information from? 
Yep. So um, when you sign up with Young Living, I can link you into all of our forums um, and that they provide lots of these information with um, DIY recipes. Um, yeah, those dilution graphs. Basically everything that you need, I'm here to support you and I can help you and answer the question. And um, I'm not perfect, so if I can't answer the question, I'll find the answer for you and I'll we can learn it together. Yeah, no, that's perfect. I, you've been really helpful to me, you know, like this week um, I got my period and I was really suffering with the pain and... Um, you came to my aid and, you know, told me what I... And even though I didn't have all the products... Um, you know, that I, you know, would have helped. I had peppermint oil. So I, you suggested peppermint oil um, on my tummy. So I just rubbed that in with some coconut oil. And yeah, it's, I, I don't know. And it kind of has that cooling effect. So it, I don't know, it really felt like, yeah, cooler in that area. Um, so yeah, I definitely feel like it worked. And yeah, like anytime I ask you anything, you're like, tag me in that certain post or whatever. So that's really, really helpful. Um, so yeah, I really like that forum. And I did some research in there too, like just searching for certain keywords and things came up. So that's really helpful. Yeah, it's great for searching. I love that search tool, it's so great. And there's also a um, forum which you're not in yet, but maybe one day you will be for mamas. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's really great too. So. Um, like the question we just had about tantrums, you can pop in there and search tantrums and um, people will put in there what they use for tantrums too. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, such a great resource to have all those tips at your fingertips. Yeah, that's really cool. And then so I, for my essential rewards order this month, I ordered the Clary Sage, which is supposed to help with the menstrual cycle and hormones and stuff like that. And then I ordered... Um, citronella because um, I just keep getting bitten by all these things here and I'm like what's going on <laughs> oh, like I you wouldn't think that there would be like mozzies here or but anyway so I ordered that um, so I'm excited to make some like natural repellent but also diffuse it because I feel like that will help as well and what was the other thing I ordered something else <laughs> that I can't remember <laughs> I can't even blame it on baby brain. <laughs> um, cool. So what what would you recommend for someone who is maybe feeling like you, you said about the Valor before? Um, is there other products that you would recommend for like, you know, if you're feeling overwhelmed um, yeah, and stressed out? Yeah, absolutely. So for um, overwhelmed, I would use frankincense. Yeah. Um, which is so great because it really grounds you and earths you. Um, so I use this every morning. I put a drop on my crown and I, that's when I do my self-care routine. So I put a drop on my crown, I journal, I meditate um, with that. And you can also make this in a roller as well, which is so great for when you're feeling overwhelmed. So I use this quite often at work. When I feel overwhelmed, I lather it in myself. Yeah. <laughs> and that's something else I can help with is um, teaching you where to put your oils on your body for when you need them for certain times. Um, yeah. So that one's great for feeling overwhelmed. And there's also a little bottle called Stress Away. Um, so you can diffuse this or you can make a roller with this. I actually really like the smell of it. So I use it all day, every day. It's just my natural perfume and it helps with stress as well. So bonus, my perfume's helping me with my stress levels. <laughs> cool. How do you make the perfume? Oh, so I actually just use the roller. Oh, yeah. um, so I make it with stress away in it and I put coconut oil in it as well to dilute it down. And I find that, yeah, makes me have a nice smell. But you can make spray perfumes as well. I just find it's easy just to roll it on and grab it whenever I feel the need. Yeah, yeah cool. So yeah. I guess like, you know, you can, while you might use that um, natural deodorant or maybe you're going through the, that detox phase, you can use the essential oils, you know, as your perfume and stuff as well. 
Yeah, definitely. Yep. Cool. Absolutely. What about um what about what do you need to be careful of when using them, the essential oils? Yep. Yeah, so always follow the um, directions on the label. It'll tell you um, how to dilute it and what to use, um, how, what amount to use, and it'll have on there um, if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, to consult with your doctor. Um, so same thing, just always consult with your doctor if you're unsure. Um, and just research. So with all those Facebook forums we've got, um, they have loads and loads of information in there. And obviously dilution for children is very, very important. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you do sign up with me, I can give you the graphics with the dilution for each age group and that will ensure you're doing it right. Um, if you're using oils for the first time, I always recommend you put them on your feet first, okay. just a little bit on your feet. Um, if you're happy with, with the result, then continue using it in other areas, but your feet's a great way to start. Yeah, cool. So what about if someone was interested, like they they get the products for themselves like you did and fall in love with them and they're interested in selling them themselves. Is that something you can help them with as well? Yeah, absolutely. If anyone's interested in selling it, they can, um, yeah, sign up with me and then we can um, get you started. So there's um, a mentorship you do um, to become a distributor and yeah lots and lots of information out there to help you with your journey with that and I'll be here to help you too hmm, cool and do you feel like it's a really you know um, beautiful community to be a part of as well absolutely there's so much support um, it's incredible and working online means you can work whenever you want there's no set hours there's no set um, you don't need to meet this amount of you know sign ups a month or anything you just go at your own pace work the hours that you want to work you're basically given your free reign to run your business how you want to run it yeah cool that sounds good yeah awesome does anyone have any questions for jamie that they have thought of along the way or anything like that feel free to come off mute and ask her any questions <laughs> Um, I have one, another one. Um, <laughs> what do you think are some other ways that we can reduce toxins other than like our household products and, you know, skincare and all of that? Yeah, yeah. So reducing plastic is a great way to reduce your toxin intake. So um, that's something I'm trying to reduce as well as my plastic containers mm -hmm. um, in my home. Um, and even down to your clothing as well is quite important. Um, yeah, I'm not at that stage in my low-tox journey yet, but adventuring there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think there's – you could take it as far and wide as you, as you wanted to, but like we said earlier, it's probably very much a process. Like I definitely started with food – First, like that was my number one you know thing I would just wanted to know exactly what was in it where it came from you know all the ingredients um and yeah cooking from scratch became really important um and then yeah and then I got, got more into the skincare and you know toothpaste and body wash and all that kind of stuff um and then even now like since you know in being introduced to young living all of that but now I'm also yesterday I went and bought some stainless steel pans um, to reduce the toxins from the pan like the um, non-stick coating so yeah. I'm like oh okay like I'm just you know each time I learn something I you know introduce that into my life and yeah like you could take it so far as your clothes and everything um, which is yeah really cool. absolutely even down to your furniture there are companies out there now starting to sell low-tox furniture wow yeah yep that's really cool <laughs> anybody yeah. got any questions mum got anything <laughs> 
Um, all right, so how does anyone, if they have any questions for you later and they um, want to reach out to you, where can they find you? Yeah, so if you're on Instagram, I'm on Instagram. So um, you can um, get my Instagram handle of Kiralee and then, um, or email address as well, because not everyone has Instagram. So I can, we can do email address too. Yeah, well, I might put it up in the forum, your email address. Um, yeah. But if anyone, what your Instagram is blue sky shine, is that right? Yes, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. So if anyone wants to jump over and give you a follow and then you're always posting, you know, helpful information and stuff there as well. And it's kind of like drip feeding the information, which I find is really good because sometimes you can feel like too much information at once. Um, blue sky shine, isn't it? Mum's asking. Yeah. Um, I'll put it, I'll write in the chat. Okay. What it is because there's underscores in it. Awesome. And also, um, what's Renee say? Thank you so much. The information really given me lots to think about really interested awesome <laughs> um awesome, that's the other great. Thing i wanted to um of the other thing that's really exciting is jamie has also put together a little special offer for everybody here today so can you tell us a little bit about that jamie yes yeah. so for anyone interested in signing up today and starting, um, I can offer $20 cash back and I also provide all my signups with a little welcome pack as well. So I'll give you $20 cash back. So that'll go into your Young Living account and you can spend it on your on any purchases you like. And then I can get you a um, welcome pack. Yes, like that. <laughs> with um, the little roller bottles in it. And I think there was some- Yeah. <laughs> or, oh yeah, and the little- um dropper and stuff as well yeah yeah so i'll make a little goodie pack like that which helps you um with your oils and personal care products cool thank you so much so yeah i guess if anyone um wants to get started just reach out to jamie on instagram and yeah you'll get a 20 dollars cash back plus a little bonus package um, well, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom. Is there anything else you feel like we should know about low tox or um, young living or anything like that that we might not have covered? Um, no, I think I basically covered everything I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely if you're still a bit on the fence about it or you're not quite sure, definitely give me a follow on Instagram. Um, and reach out to me if I'm posting something and you're not quite sure what I'm talking about or if you need any help, any more further information, then you can just message me and I'm happy to help. Um, even if you want to get started on your low tox journey um, without, you know, if you want to save up for your young living product, um, I can help in that sense as well because there's lots of ways you can reduce your toxin intake just by grabbing basic things like what we're talking about with the laundry powder. You can buy them all from Coles as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, you can definitely start, um, yeah, introducing some things nice and slowly. Um, mum, what are those products? So, it's for the washing powder, mum, you're talking about? Yeah? What, yeah. What, what was it? Yeah, oh. Yeah, uh, should I put it in the chat? It's yeah. Easier. Um, washing, washing soda, bicarb soda, and Epsom salt. And also, and then I add um, um, essential oils. You sent me the recipe the other day, so do you mind if I just put that up in the forum as well? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your Sunday to be here. And thanks to everyone who joined us. Um, yeah, it's really something super important to me and, you know, obviously to you. And I feel like everyone can benefit. So, yeah, thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
Bye, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. Bye. Bye.